And bleen is much more like crepes than like pancakes. Pancakes are two or three times thicker than crepes or bleen. Ah, I think I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, I have had bleen and I have had pancakes in the last month and they're very different. Well, I mean, they're not very different. A lot of the same ingredients, but uh, I, I compare bleen to crepes. And as, as we eat crepes in the U.S. also, I think that that would be a more correct term than to call them pancakes. So now I will try to show you, and you will say what picture is the best, which picture illustrates. Uh, so can you see my screen? Those all look like crepes or and or bleen to me. Mm -hmm. oh. Pancakes are like uh, almost a centimeter thick. They're they're much thicker than than these guys. Maybe like like this, because these ones are. That's that's more like a pancake there, but even I'd say even thicker. Even thicker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, it, it's good that now I'm full because we have just eaten so many pancakes, and I can look at these pictures uh, with no problems. You got the holiday started in style. Yes. You've already had bleen today. How mm. many of you had bleen today? For me. How many of you? There's four of you. How many of you had bleen today? I've had Luba. Daniel. No, yes. Did you eat I, bleen today? Yes. No, I didn't eat uh, bleen oh. today. I, uh, Don't I, you love Ukraine? <laughs> Don't you love spring? What's your problem? <laughs> I, I ate bleen yesterday. Oh! <laughs> Well, okay. We'll cut you some. We'll cut you some slack on that, I guess. <laughs> and who's left? Roma. Yes. Do you eat bleen today? Mm, no, I didn't bleen today. Did you <laughs> know that the holiday? Then, then, but then uh, this lesson, I, I just actually I will. Definitely. I will uh, eat uh, <laughs> bleen. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Now that we've brought it to your attention, you will, you will do the right thing, the Ukrainian thing, and eat some bleen. Yes. <laughs> and what about you, Jonathan? Are you going to our famous uh, fair, which will take place in Zelibasovska Street at the weekend? So there, people will eat lots of pancakes, sing songs. Crepes, crepes, crepes. Okay, crepes. But I'm we. To... <laughs> but right, we uh, don't uh, make uh, them so thick. We don't make them so thick. We make them very, very thin. I know. That's why you have to call them crepes. You can't call them pancakes. Pancakes are thick. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. Pancakes are as thick as your as your pinky finger. Mm -hmm. Do any of you know your pinky finger? Hello, hello, yes. hello, hello. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pinky okay. finger? Nobody. Okay. What is it? Do you have five? Well. Technically, you have a thumb and four fingers on each hand. Your pinky finger is your little one, the baby finger, the one on the outside edge. Your smallest finger, for some reason, we call it your pinky, and I don't know why. But your pinky finger, and our pancakes are as thick as your pinky. And if someone made bleen and they were as thick as your pinky, you'd say, you have no idea what bleen is, right? <laughs> All right. I feel like maybe I'm talking too fast today. My jokes are not going over. 
<laughs> okay. So, um, Irina, this mm -hmm. festival is was it uh, today and tomorrow, or is it next? It's it's got to be t today and tomorrow, right? Because the 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 week ends next Friday. Correct. Yes, yes. We're supposed to have uh, creeps every day. Beginning today. So, but you said you asked if I was going to the festival or party or, or mm -hmm. celebration, whatever you called it. Mm -hmm. um, that was today and is tomorrow, correct? No, it, it, it's going to be at weekend, next weekend. Next That's weekend, but I thought it was I thought it was a first through the seventh holiday. No, no. Sp spring started today. This is the 1st of March, and the first week of March, we are celebrating this holiday. Yes, so that would be the first seven days, and next Saturday is the 8th, so I'm just more perplexed than ever. So, can, can we uh, start talking about your pictures? Um, well, now, uh, we absolutely can. Uh, did we want to use the link that you found from many people or the ones that I selected from my enormous Facebook collection? So as you like, just say what should I show and I will show those pictures that you want. Did you, did you go to the link? I mean, did you, did you get the things? So those pictures with gays? I'm sorry. <laughs> pictures with gays. That was one link. Yes, I suggested. <laughs> I thought that that might be a conversational topic, but that was a link. Um, the the. Uh, I mean, that was not my. I sent you a link of that was 64 pictures that I had selected. That's the one I'm talking about. The, these ones? Yes, yes, yes. I suspect. So okay. Shall we start with the first? Please. Do I need to somehow bring them up? Or you can't? Okay, yeah, let's that's, that's, do this one. This one freaks me out. Look at that. What is it? <laughs> the two. <laughs> what does it look like it is? Drehon. It's it's a woman's leg, <laughs> but doesn't it look like it's carved out of wood? Idina, I'm struggling here. I still don't know how to get it to stay on your picture. It it keeps flipping back and forth amongst our our uh, participants here, and the picture doesn't remain constant. Yeah, that's click, now it's the click, click twice on my icon. Okay. And then it just stays on you. Okay. All right. So this picture, doesn't it look like that is a wooden leg that is carved out of wood? Mm hmm. But it's yeah, not. It's, 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 it's a tattoo. Mm hmm. It's, it it looks new, ugly. It looks horrible. It looks it, just nasty. It puts me off. Um, but it's called it's this new thing called three dimensional tattoos, and I I, I don't like two dimensional tattoos, um, but tattoos are very popular, and this supposedly is is a new thing. Um, how many of us have a tattoo? Anybody? No. No, we don't. Irina, no. No, no. no tattoos? No mm -hmm. tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I was growing up, the only people with tattoos were like sailors and military soldiers and, and criminals, prisoners. Mm -hmm. prisoners. And that's still, that's what I think of. I don't understand why anyone would want a tattoo. Especially an odd one like this. 
But in the U.S., um, it seems like half half of the pretty young ladies under 25 have tattoos, and I just don't get it. Do not understand it at all. All right. Anyway, let's move on. That was just a weird one to catch your eye. So next picture. Please. Just a second. But now I don't want to do a lecture. I don't want to talk about each picture. I want people to, you know, say that looks like this or that makes me think. What that, is this? What is this? Okay, here's a good one. What is this? Uh, it's Google Maps. It's uh, Google Earth. Yeah? No. Uh -huh. It's a lake. Probably Google Earth. Talk and and what? <laughs> it's 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 in, it's in New it's in the city, right? Who said that? That's right. It's in New York City. Oh, mm. cool. So what is it? Big light. What is in New York City that's big and green? <laughs> and maybe it's park. It's a, it, it's a park. No. It is a park. What does anyone know the name of the giant park in New York City? I mean, that's a huge park. Huge uh, park. Very big. Mm, it's very great and very beautiful. Maybe. It's, it's called Central. Do you see movies or TV shows in New York? Someone's always going to Central Park or going through Central Park. Um, for a city like New York to set aside that much real estate just for a park is was was very insightful of them. Mm -hmm. People living in cities need green spaces, and there's so many people living in New York that uh, they needed an extra large green space and it was very wise of the city founders back in the day to set aside this. That land is incredibly valuable as you can imagine if they sold it for businesses they could make millions of dollars but they won't. They'll keep it as a park and I think that's lovely. All right, I'm still talking too much. I want to talk less. What area? What is area in the park or park? The size of the park? I have no idea. Uh. <laughs> Here's one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> Go back to it. You know, it's it's not going up again. Great. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see in this picture? Uh, girl, kids, uh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a little more than that. A boy with a big head. <laughs> <laughs> a very big head. So, who, who, who can think they can explain this? picture. If you saw these two, you would look at them twice. They're a very strange looking couple. Any ideas? In, in English it's very difficult. I can explain <laughs> in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's, that it's, this girl is uh, the girl. The girl, girl uh, f f n is far uh, f from uh, the boy, and uh -huh. it's a focus. It's a TV, sh TV sh shop. No. No, no, no. It's not uh, Photoshop. It's, it's not it's Photoshop. No. It's it 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 is a moment um, uh, when you. Uh, um, поддерживать Ирина в каком смысле поддерживать ну, когда ты держишь на руке например пирамиду Хеопса so when you are holding pyramid 
on your hand. On your hand, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I right. know. That right, it's it's, uh, it's an optical illusion. Um, the boy is very close. She is far in the back, but by making them wear the same color clothes, it looks like she's like they're together and she's kissing him. <laughs> I think it's very funny. Um, Central Park is 3.4 square kilometers. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is pretty big. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things about Odessa is that there's many, many parks. You can always find a park. And you seem to come across a little park of some kind. Oh, oh cool. It's mm -hmm. a castle? Yes. Don't say the T, though. Castle. 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 Right. Good. Okay. Has anyone seen that? Do you recognize uh, it? I was there. You were there. Tell yes. us about it. Tell me about it, please. It is in Crimea, in uh, Alupka. Okay. Uh, the second floor uh, was a, was a restaurant. It really. It Is it still a restaurant? Uh, yes. Is uh, it a restaurant? No, yeah. Now I uh, now I think uh, uh, don't have a restaurant. Do you know anything about the history? How old it is, or why someone built a castle on the edge of a cliff like that? It looks like it could fall over in a strong wind. It doesn't look safe. Do you know anything of the history? I don't know. Maybe another other people. <laughs> as far as I know, there was a kind of earthquake, and this. Uh, Cliff was in danger. There is a big crack that went through this cliff. Wait, it's it, it's where it is now because of an earthquake, or it's no, no, no. This earthquake uh, was not so long ago. Ah, so is it still standing? Is it still there? Yeah, it is. I Is saw it last summer. It's very beautiful. Are you allowed to go inside it? Is it like a museum? Uh, no, we did we didn't go inside. Uh, but I am not sure if we can go inside. Then you did you go inside of the building? Mm, no. Uh, I felt a picture uh, earlier. This mm -hmm. is same the same place. Mm -hmm. Okay, I. Uh, that's beautiful. Where well, you see that you can see the sea in your picture. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. When were you there, Daniel? When? When? when were you there? Uh, when? Oh, uh, I was two thousand eight. Oh, okay. There. Yeah. Who was there? Yeah. All right. I have not been to Crimea yet, and apparently this is not the best time to go. <laughs> but I hope to go to Crimea sometimes, maybe this summer. Okay. What have we got? This looks like someone's photo album up on screen. Oh, 
Oh, it's a beach. It is a beach. What's happening in this picture? Um, uh, I don't know. Girl, uh, girl have girl has speech. She's give, giving a speech. Giving a speech, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. On a magic carpet. Magic what? <laughs> fly carpet. A flying carpet. <laughs> <laughs> illusion. It's another. It's another illusion. An optical illusion. It's. Mm -hmm. She's got her carpet just sitting on the beach, and there's a shadow <laughs> of a flag. But it's. A, I think it's a very funny picture. I like optical. You can tell. Maybe the next one. Is it a fish? Not a fish. What is this? It's a bird. What kind of bird? Calibri. It's, it's very little. But no, not maybe probably, it's probably weighs a kilogram. How much? A kilogram. Maybe. It's an owl. Oh. Do you all know what the kind of bird called an owl? And this, obviously it's perfectly designed for flight. It just looks like a bullet or something. I bet it flies very quickly. Hmm. But it's, again, it's just a, a strange picture. It looks like a fish. Yes. <laughs> In the sea. Yeah. I I said first, it's a bird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So, I don't know what I would think, because you can't see any wings. Okay. But owls are great hunters. They have excellent hearing, and they can just drop down on a little tiny mouse or animal in the forest so quickly. Knockout. Yes. It's, uh, Do you recognize the man on top? Um, I can't. I can't. I can't, uh, I can't remember. I'm not a boxing I fan, can't. but I love this man. Uh, Nobody. Ali. Muhammad. Ali. Very good. He's he is the one standing. Are, do any of you like boxing? Yeah, yes, I like boxing. Who said that? Daniel, was that you? Daniel, Daniel, yes. Daniel, have you ever boxed? Uh, have you ever that's done? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Were you good? Did you win or lose or some of each? Uh, it's different. It's different. Uh, it depends. Sometimes you won, sometimes you lost. Yes. Did you ever get hurt? <laughs> Were you ever hurt boxing? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Broken yep. nose? 
What happened? Oh, it's good, but... <laughs> How were you hurt? Did you break a bone? Was, did, were you cut? Were you bleeding? Did your eyes you get bruised? What happened? Uh, I, uh, um, <laughs> you had a black eye. Black eye. <laughs> okay. That uh, in boxing. <coughs> um, this uh, this particular picture is one of the most famous pictures in boxing. It's mm -hmm. um, here's a new vocabulary word for you. It's iconic. You all know the word icon because you all have three icons in your cars and on every Matushruka. Icon is like a holy picture. So iconic is an adjective that describes someone or something that really symbolizes the sport, in this case the sport of boxing. This is uh, just a classic picture. Um, the man laying down was the champion. He was expected to win easily. And Muhammad Ali was a young boxer. He was he had been in the Olympics about a year or two earlier and people did not think that he could win this match and he knocked the champion out and then he started I mean you could tell he's 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 taunting him he's making fun of him uh, you know get up get up get up and and Sonny Liston cannot get up and this is one of the most famous pictures of boxing in history. Um, before we leave this, I want to mention the thing about boxing. It's like the, most sports uh, you either play, you play. For example, give me, give me some sports that you play. Like you play football. What other sports do you play? Um. Play tennis, play football. tennis, or uh, basketball, basketball, mm -hmm. football, football, volleyball, volleyball. volleyball. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. badminton, <clears throat> anything with a ball or something like a ball, like hockey or badminton, you play. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, some sports you go. What are some sports that we use go for? Usually it's when you physically, your body moves from one place to another a long ways away. So what are some sports where you go? Like you go skiing. What else do you go? Uh, skate, skiing, skating. Skate, you go skating? Okay. On health path, what do you do? Um, go, ru yeah, go running. Go running, yes. Ah, it's, it's right. Go mm -hmm. running. Um, <laughs> go cycling. Go horseback riding. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but you're, you physically, you start one place and you end up, you know, many meters away. Um, and the last common verb for sports is do. What what sports do you do? There's not a ball involved, and you, you don't travel anywhere. Do so exercise. You do exercises, or you do gymnastics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you think of anything else? Yoga. You do yoga. You do 
um, karate or judo. All right, so almost every sport is play, go, or do, and usually the, that rule applies. If there's a ball, you play it. If you travel, you go. If it's neither one, it's do. The two exceptions, two sports that don't fit, bowling, you have a ball, so you think you play bowling, but you don't. For some reason, we say go bowling. I don't know why. The ball goes, but we don't go. But that's So don't ever say, I want to play bowling. You go bowling. And the really odd one is boxing, because you don't play, go, or do boxing. All you do is box. That's the verb. You box. Mm -hmm. So there's your, there's your sports vocabulary verb lesson of the day. <laughs> 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 All right, Didi, now let's move on to the next. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby. It is a baby. Would you be a, a, a proud father of that baby? <laughs> <laughs> and behind Hua the dog. Yeah, exactly. There's a dog behind the baby. Makes for a funny picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot to say on this one. It's more of a look at it and laugh and move on. Wow. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> What do we see here? What is that? Can you guess? Uh-huh. Uh and the Anybody? What do you think uh -huh. it is? Uh-huh. You you see a man and a woman, yeah? This is a post post energy. Say, uh, the, the sound blinked out for a second. Tell me again. I think you're right. What is it? Uh, energy. Okay. Line. Uh, uh, force with uh, line energy. High voltage. Yeah. High voltage. High voltage electrical lines. Yes. Yes, if you look at their hands, you can see very faintly that they're holding up lines, and it's high voltage electrical lines. But whoever it was decided that instead of a boring old post, they would make kind of a statue. I think it's great. <laughs> I've never. I wish they were all like that. Oh, wow. Where uh, okay. it is? Where is it? Where? I, I have no idea. I didn't take any of these pictures. I just uh, I spend enough time online, and when I see a, a picture that I think is interesting, mm -hmm. I save it. And then I throw it into a folder. On, uh, are, do any of you belong to Facebook? I know y'all are probably all on contact, but are any of you on Facebook? I have an account uh, in Facebook and uh, contact in uh, link. On, 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 on Facebook. On. You're all over the place. That's your, your business. Yeah. Businesswoman. It's smart <laughs> business. You have. Facebook is your business. Facebook is your business. No, 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 no. I'm just 
Irina said she's on everything, and I said because she's got a business, you have to be on everything. I, I, a lot of people on Facebook post pictures of themselves oh. or what they ate for dinner or <laughs> I don't know their children, uh, their vacations, and um, I don't know. That's maybe interesting, but I don't do that. I post many different sorts of pictures. Like I have folders with different themes. So I have a folder that's just optical illusions and a folder that's just sports and a folder that's just politics and a folder that's just um, cosplay. I have many different or just things that are funny mm -hmm. or quotes. Um, and I, I think I probably have 5,000 or 6,000 photos on, online on Facebook. And I went through a lot of them yesterday and picked out some of my favorites that I thought might be fun to share with y'all. And but if anyone's on Facebook, I uh, give you my link. Well, you don't even have to be on Facebook. I can give you my link, and you can look through my folder if if anyone's interested. But Irina, let's move on. See, if I was more of a tech guy, I this would be on my screen, and I'd just be clicking to the next picture. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a tech guy at all. Okay, what is this? Juke. Mm. Juke, mm. yes. How do you say juke in English? <laughs> it's it's a duck cob. A ladybug. It's a ladybug, yes. Ladybug. Very nice. A ladybug. Um, Irina, is is juk is that bug or is it insect? Oh. Irina. Yes. Is juk does it mean bug or does it mean insect? No, it, it means bug. It means bug. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. This is yes. Yeah, so whoever said. It's like beetle. Oh, it's a specific kind of bug? Juke? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I thought it just meant But bug. Is, in, you mean in Russian? Uh, in insect, Russian, the word. Insect? Yeah. No, I, insect, it's nasikome, yeah. but uh, okay. bug, juke. Juke, okay. And this is called a ladybug? Bozhikarovka. Okay, I'll take your word for it. There's a there's a funny uh, animated film called Bug I think or Bugs and the all the all the different insects are at the bar and and a beetle comes up to talk to the ladybug tar, tries to flirt with the ladybug and the ladybug says hey not all ladybugs are ladies some of us are men ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what is this ladybug doing? She's flying. Floating, flying on a on a what? Can you tell what that is? She's sitting on the flower. Not not the flower. It's a it's a a seed of some sort, maybe a from a Dandelion, perhaps, or maybe a tree. But again, I just thought it was a beautiful picture of nature. But I'm impressed by whoever it was that knew the word ladybug. That's pretty good. All right, next is. Mm -hmm. No, okay, what's this? What's this a picture of? It's a hate. It's what? Hate. Hate? Do you mean hate? hate? Da, yes. Hate. <laughs> okay. Why would I include a picture of a rusty gate? Look carefully. <coughs> Just a minute. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Лена. Лена. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, пока Джонатана нет, uh, у вас очень громко слышен звук. Сделайте uh -huh. тише. Я, я без наушников, и я плохо слышу вас. Зато я свое эхо очень, очень, очень хорошо слышу. А если вы думаете, если вы включите свои наушники, то тогда будет вот как у ребят. А я сейчас вот включаю наушники. Секунду. Как сейчас? Лен, ну... сделайте потише микрофон просто и все. Да, микрофон потише. Ага, сейчас исправлю, сейчас. А ну-ка. Так, получше, еще чуть-чуть тише. Если вы в наушниках, вы меня будете хорошо слышать. Oh, okay. All right. So, did you did, can you did you figure out this picture yet? Do you see the person? A person? person. What kind of person? I ca ah yes. Ah. I can see a person. Can the rest of you see the person? So, guys, can you see a lady? She's naked. Mm -mm. No, you can't. I can. <laughs> Look at uh, uh -huh. you talk to a group I of saw. people. Do you see the naked lady? Yes, Usually yes. The naked lady. <laughs> yes. This is body painting. Uh, uh. And she's been painted to blend into this rusty gate. And does a pretty good job. She's not easy to see. So it's not exactly an optical illusion, but it's sort of. Um, I like body painting and body art and just the, the shape being disguised in, into a picture. I've got lots of these pictures. But this, I think, is one of the best because it's not, you wouldn't think it's a pretty picture or a, a cool place to take a picture, but it's a great picture, I think. Is it a real photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all real photos. Um, I body painting is one of my favorite subjects of, of uh, um, photography. I just love the using the human body as a as a canvas. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can see how you think it's something fake, but it's not. It looks like she's wearing a a collar. Or like like a dog. <laughs> I see that. I think that's probably part of the the uh, the door, the gate. It's probably mm -hmm. the lock or something on the gate. And maybe she's painted to fit into the lock. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> It's fashion. Fashion. Well, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Women fashion. What do you, can somebody make up a story for this picture? No. Please, try. Luba. Yes. Try. You've been very quiet, Luba. What do you think is happening? I don't here? know why men, uh, men, uh, men, uh, uh, go on on heels. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's. A dirty man. Maybe That's a very try good, yeah. understand us uh, how it's difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly it. Um. 
high-heeled shoes, they can't be comfortable. I don't think high-heeled shoes were invented by women. I think that they're for men because they make women look great. And this this but was men, some. But men don't great look like. No, men. The men don't look so great in high heels. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But look at their tight little butts. No. Um, so this was yes. This was to give men a chance to empathize a little bit, experience what it would be like. It's just, it's actually a race. They they had to walk like one kilometer in a in a race to see who could walk in high heels. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this guy in front with the suit and tie and high heels. <laughs> very good, very clever, Luna. Yeah, they look very elegant. You think so? <laughs> Would you like to date a man who wore high heels? Oh, yes, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, I love their socks, colorful socks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and curiously, hardly any women wear socks with high heels. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because it's, it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think I will try this summer, something like this. Try it, sure. Yeah, especially I like this uh, red shoes, very high heels with yellow socks. Mm -hmm. They look great. He's so with, the, with this kind of uh, red uh, stripe around. Mm. Yeah, see it all it, times in. He's very fashion coordinated. He has he very has nice, nice legs. legs. <laughs> it's just like a woman. Yeah. And Not all women have such legs. I think there are brave men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are brave. Yeah. So, Daniel, would you do something like this for fun? Yeah, it's fun picture. Yeah, would you walk on high heels uh, like this I, man? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I would like uh, to wear uh, woman's shoes and uh, and hoe. I try. <laughs> <laughs> so you would try. Good. You are you are a very brave man, as Helen said. Luba, have you ever seen anything like this in Moscow? <laughs> no, I I have seen men's uh, in socks and mm -hmm. sandals. Oh yes, <laughs> very great picture. Yeah, very stylish. Yeah, it's a, a major fashion faux pas: socks and sandals. Mm -hmm. But they are so serious. Look at their faces. But I, I've seen um, a men's in um, white socks mm -hmm. and uh, red magazines. <laughs> it's very great. <laughs> <laughs> Looks funny. Uh, uh, we. Um, we call the, this uh, style doggy style. Doggy style. Doggy style. Yeah. In America, doggy style means something very different. <laughs> who, call, <laughs> who, who call us? <laughs> who is calling? Who is calling? Who's calling? All right, what's happening here? Lena plays in basketball. Yeah. Optical illusion too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not an optical illusion. <laughs> it's an actual ball and an actual statue. It's just the angle of the picture makes it look like he shot it. I think it's great. I think it's funny. <laughs> I posted that on Facebook and one of my friends said, Lenin for three! 
It's a very great photo. <laughs> cool photo. Oh, okay. But there's not a lot to say about it. It's just kind of Le Lenin lot. is the best player. He's a star. All right, but let's move on, Ida. Some of these you just look at and you laugh and, and you move on. And we discuss. The last one was a discussion. And it's just a look, laugh at it. So why are people quiet? We wait. Next picture. <gasps> You're waiting for me. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Just don't be quiet. Be noisy. Say, Irina, hey, what are you doing there? Are you sleeping or what? Oh. Okay. The magazine. Yeah, it is. Do you recognize the model? Uh, Ukrainian model. Yes. Oh, Daniel, you know her? <laughs> uh. What's her name? Daniel, what's her name? I don't know her. <laughs> you might know her. She's famous. Uh, I forgot. How could you forget? So, Lubo, do you know this girl? Mm -mm. <laughs> Very do you beautiful girl, girl, that's all. <laughs> Luba, have you ever wanted to be a model? Maybe in your no. childhood? No, mm -mm. no. Because Helen, <laughs> Helen, Helen. Hey, Helen, Helen, Helen. So, Helen, I know that you are a very tall and beautiful woman. <laughs> so, have you ever wanted to be a model? Uh, no, never. N never. No, I, no, no. <laughs> No. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes. I never, I never know. <laughs> so I have never wanted to be a model. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Helen, is she beautiful? Is this girl beautiful? Yes, she is beautiful, and uh, I, I think she, um, she gets all the guys, uh, mm -hmm. like okay. this. Uh, Text, как фраза сказать? Phrase. Phrase yeah. on magazine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It is, do you think that she is a girl or a woman? I think oh. it's, it's girl, very young girl. Very young? How old yeah. do you think she is? Это, это, Ирина, это обо мне или о девочке на девочке? I think uh, she is 18, maybe. 18? Okay, who else? Everyone. Maybe. 23. 25. 23, 25, 18, 18. What else? Any other guesses? I think if we washed her face, she would look different. She would. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Mila Jovovich. Jov Mila Jo Jovovich, yes. Mila Jovovich. Ah, oh. she's fifteen. You remembered. She's fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Fifteen. Pyatnadze. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, That's my phone. That's your phone. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then we will... So, I put this in for a reason. Do you think it's right to have a 15-year-old made up like this? Now that she's 15, is she still beautiful? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think it's right to, to let... I think 15 is a little girl. And... I don't think she looks like a little girl here. But she looks very, very fresh. 
No. Yeah, she's 15. <laughs> she has to be. Yeah. Right. No, but, no, yes. Don't worry. If uh, we had the same makeup, Photoshop, lots of uh, professional cameras and all the people around us, so we would be much more beautiful than she is here. Just don't worry about that. It's fake. <laughs> it's totally fake. That, that was the point of this. It's and I know, I know that it's uh, um, very. It, it can be dangerous uh, because many young girls look at these models on the uh, magazines covers, and they go crazy because they want to be as beautiful as these girls, as these models, and they think that they are ugly. Uh, they compare themselves to these fake girls, and I think it's very bad idea. Exactly. There is nothing natural about these pictures. Yes. yes. Because Jonathan, well, I hope, Helen, we are the best. <laughs> you are. Jonathan, I the hope most beautiful. Nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we are the most beautiful, and we are the most modest people in the world. Modest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. So Helen. Yes. So what do you think? You have a daughter, right? Yes. So how old is she now? Uh she's twelve. 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 Okay. And this girl is fifteen. Uh would you like your daughter to be a model like this girl? Would you like Dasha be a model? No. It's no. Uh, Hard job, like I said, hard profession. profession. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a very difficult profession. Uh, difficult. Thank you. Okay, here's two famous people. Can you name them? Um, Bonnie Singer. Mm -hmm. Which one? Presley. Right. Yes, Elvis Presley. Presley. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, good. This is the first time in my life when I remember the name of a famous person. Oh, okay. <laughs> Elvis Presley is on the right. Who's on the left? Ugly politician. It is an ugly. <laughs> Ugly in physical and ugly in his soul. Yes, pure evil. Richard American Nixon. president. Richard Nixon. Yes, he was the president who had to resign his job because of committing illegal actions. He broke the law and was caught and had to. The only president ever to resign. But this is kind of a famous photograph of, uh, he named Elvis Presley America because Nixon thought that drugs were a huge problem in America, he thought they were the biggest problem. And so he wanted Elvis Presley to be his youth advisor about the drug problem. And it's ironic because Elvis Presley died of a drug overdose a few years later. But this is one great picture came out of it. So. We can move on, I think. Move just... on. Yes. Tell me, please. Uh, do Do you like Elvis Presley's songs? Do you ever listen to his music? I have listened, but. <laughs> Not every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you are not. I don't. I don't listen uh, Elvis Presley every morning. <laughs> really? Well, since my baby left me, I haven't played it well. But <laughs> but I try. <laughs> Wake up with Elvis. <laughs> oh, that's good. So Daniel, and are you a fan of Elvis Presley, or were you a fan of Elvis Presley? No, I uh, 
I didn't hear uh, their thing. thing. Listen to Jonathan. He sang for you. <laughs> yeah, just the same. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> even better. Only Elvis could carry a tune. <laughs> I can't. But I do love that one song. He had a lot of hit songs. So here we go. Next picture. Okay. One more click. See if we can read it. It's, um, Make it larger. If you can. There. You Donna, read for us, please. I saw this picture. Uh, it's on no in north. I don't know where, what country. I don't can't remember. Don't well, remember. Read, read what it says there. Huh? Read the writing. What does it say? No, but read, read what's written ah, on the picture. Amazing show. Uh, Finland, where the uh, belt, no, yes, Baltic and North Seas uh, meet, but meet, but don't mix because uh, of the different uh, density. Mm -hmm. oh, amazing! It's amazing. Isn't that that's one of the most bizarre pictures I've ever seen? Different the colors, water. Different, yeah, they're very different. Where? So, what country? I, my geography is very bad. I don't even know where the North Sea is. So where where is this? Where does the Baltic and the North Sea run into each other? Latvia. Latvia? In the yeah. north. <laughs> Have any of you ever been to Latvia? Or to the North Sea or the Baltic Sea? No. <laughs> No. No, I haven't. No, 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 no. One moment. So Luba Google knows everything. Luba <laughs> Google. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a name? Luba Google. So Google doesn't have any problems with geography. Helen, it's um, UK and Dania, Dan Dania. How? Denmark. 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 Denmark yes. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Let me see. All right. So I like the sky. Cloudy. Cloudy makes yeah, it it adds to the picture to have that sort of a And are there any mountains that I can see in the background or it's just the sky that looks like this? I think it's an island or Mountains. I don't know. Okay. So, Daniel, would you like to swim here? Mm. Would yes, like I would like to swim there. And and mix the water. Mix the water. <laughs> and Make that your job. Come on, guys. You're both seas. Let's get along. We can... <laughs> <laughs> Helen, are you good at swimming? Uh, yes, I think uh, I I will be swim um, on the more lighter, um, whiter water because lighter, lighter, lighter water. Uh -huh. uh, because I think uh, there are more um, warm water. It's warmer. 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 Mm -hmm. It's warmer than in black water. Uh -huh. It looks warmer. You think it would be, mm -hmm. but okay. it's, a, it's different density. Uh, so I think not, uh, density. not necessarily different temperature. And it's different temperature and um, one part, da, one part more salt, 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 than other part. That's what I thought. It must be a salt difference. But still, it's water. It's a liquid. You would think that they would just sort of blend together. And instead of a line with a light part and a dark part, that there would be like a region where it's in between. But they just 
completely stay separate. It's a very strange picture. I would like to swim right on the line. <laughs> one arm is in the dark blue and one arm is in the light blue. <laughs> okay, so next picture then. Please. Wow, camels. Camels, camels yes. This, this won an award for photograph of the year. What do you think those big black things are? Well... Someone already said. Black those, big, those big black things are not camels. Not camels. Nope. No. If you could read, if you could read the writing, those are shadows of camels. Oh, just shadows. Yes, the sun is low in the sky, and those little tiny black spots at the bottom, those are the real camels. And what we are looking at is the shadows of camels. Mm. Very cool picture, I think. It, it would. You all know National Geographic, right? Mm -hmm. Famous for great photography. And this was like the, the award winner that year. A beautiful picture. Jonathan, it looks have like you it, ever ridden a camel? Have I? Mm hmm Never. I've I've seen camels, but I've never sat on a camel. Would you like to try? They're not very friendly animals. They are not friendly? No, they spit and they kick. They, they're not friendly. Helen, have you ever seen camels in the zoo? Helen? Yes, uh, I I was um, in the desert. Desert. You desert. gotta emphasize the first syllable. Desert. Dessert desert. Is ice cream or cake. <laughs> 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 I was in desert and I um, I saw um, a lot of camel. But did you get on one? Um. Get типа получила каталог что ли? Ага, ага. Get on. Get on. Um, no, um, they was um, angry. angry. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's all. <laughs> what what I what, uh, what I can say. About what 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 why do they have a hump? What purpose does the hump? Do you know what I mean by hump? Еще раз. Почему у них горб? I think um, they uh, fill them, да, наполняют их. Fill them. Fill them uh, water, maybe. <laughs> by water или как чем? With water. With water. with water. That's not exactly correct. It's like it's halfway correct. Fat. 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 Yeah. It's fat. fat. Yes. And and how is that useful? How does that help the animals? Oh, not to get too hot. No, it's not. Not to be angry. No, it's nothing to do with heat or anger. Thirst. Thirst. Because uh, when uh, when they uh, want drink, then they use fat. Good. And uh, they don't drink. They don't need to drink. Uh -huh. yeah. Daniel, yeah. you know so much about that. <laughs> he is a very smart man, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he, he is. is. Most camels live in the desert, and in the desert there's very little food and water, and they have evolved that they can go for days without food and water, and the, the fat just provides the nutrients that they need so they can live in the desert. Very good, Tato. Very good.
Oh, Helen, I think you have something to say. One more click. There you go. So these are pyramids. Yes. Pyramid. Somebody read it, please. Oh. Daniel, can you read? Yes. Mercury, Venus, and Saturn. A line. A line. Luba, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so, Luba, have you ever seen pyramid? pyramids in Egypt? Uh, I have seen uh, on photos. Yeah. In you photos. can see them too. In photos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have seen in photos. Helen, have you ever seen pyramids? I never have been uh, in Egypt, but I, like Luba, see, uh, have seen them, have seen... Uh, yeah, present perfect, good girl. Uh, have seen this, uh, they, uh, them uh, in photo, mm -hmm. in tele, uh, television um, program. Mm -hmm. On TV. On TV. In in photos and on TV. Thank you. No, no, that's, Roma and you. That's why I come here. Yes. <laughs> have but you what? ever seen? Have you ever been there, Roma? Mm, when I was in Egypt, to uh, excursion uh, was with that. Right. Tourist guide. Uh, we learn uh, the word uh, with you. The tourist guide uh, told me that uh, these pyramids uh, was built uh, aliens. by aliens. By aliens? Built by aliens. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good story. Yeah. But I heard from many people that these pyramids are not interesting to look at. Are not interesting. Why? I don't know. They say oh, just a pile of uh, bricks, <laughs> and that's all, and there is nothing to look at much. Not interesting. It's inside. Inside. I don't know. Let's go Nobody. and see. Are, are you allowed to go inside? No, I don't think so. I, I can sort of understand why someone would say they're not interesting, but they're so old. They're, I don't know what, 5,000 years old? They're really old, and that, to me, that alone makes them interesting. But in this photograph, those, what, a, Mercury, Venus, and Saturn are what? What's the word? They're not stars. What are they? Stars? No. Mercury and Venus and Saturn are not stars. What uh, are they? They are planets. They are planets, yes. How many planets are in our solar system? I know, I know. Uh, of course you know. How many planets go around the sun? Earth goes around the sun. Earth is a planet. We live on Earth. How many Eight. planets? Eight? Eight or eight, not? Eight. Yeah. Oh. When I was little, I'm so old. When I was little, there were nine planets. Nine? <laughs> yes. But then they decided that Pluto was too small and didn't count. So there's only eight planets. And to me, this is an amazing photograph because three of the planets are visible and they're all exactly over the top of a pyramid. And you see in the writing here, that happens every 2,737 years. Mm -hmm. So if if you see it, then your great 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 grandchild might see it. I thought that something went wrong with your computer. <laughs> that was great, 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 great. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 2000, I don't know how many grandchildren you're going to go through to get to oh, 2,700 years. 
Thank but I think it's a beautiful picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the last picture for today, and we will finish. All right, hopefully it's a really good one. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a very strange picture to finish with. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you are scared of spiders? Anybody? Uh, oh, nobody is scared of spiders. Nobody is scared of spiders. Oh. Okay, we all love spiders. Lubov, you love spiders? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> of course. Sure, why not? Elena, you love spiders? I hate them. You hate them. Okay, well, this animal is scarier than spiders. Scooch it up just a little bit, Ida, so we can read it. Uh -huh. Scared of spiders? Uh, Elena, Elena, read for us, please. Oh, here is such a word. Scared of spiders. This mother. Uh, oh, 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 well, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. This motherfucker. Right, <laughs> right here. <laughs> trick, trick, trick spiders by mimicking helpless prey caught in a spider's web. When the spiders run towards them, the as uh, what this assassin. The assassin staff. bug steps and the plocha mm, vidna spider with its snout. No. Snout. No. After feeding, it wears the corpse yes. of the victim as ermo. Yes. Um, all right, and let's skip that last sentence. I didn't notice all this language before. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Let's skip the last. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now let's get rid of the writing, you know, and let's just look at the picture. So there's a bug there, and what is all over the bug? What is the bug wearing? Armor. <laughs> Armor made from what? Victims. Dead spiders. So. He tricks spiders into attacking him, and then poop, poisons him, kills him, throws him on his back. Cool uh, thing. <laughs> nature, there's some crazy things in the world of animals and plants that you would never imagine. Mm hmm Okay, so I think it's time to finish uh, today's uh, online lesson. So thank you guys. Thank you, Jonathan, very much for amazing photos. I really enjoyed them. Very interesting things to learn. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you all for coming and listening and contributing. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if... Uh, if any of you want a link to these photos, just type your email address on the, on the right side, and I will send you a link. And you can see, because we only saw 19, and there's like 64 pictures in this batch. I would be happy to send you a link if you want to look at the photos on your own time. Um, but regardless, thank you for coming and, and talking with us. I enjoyed it. And I will see you all next week.